if you hear uh, four duck, look out for your neighbor. <laughs> we welcome you to this ceremony as a celebration of love. Marriage is God's truest celebration of love. In 1 Corinthians 13, we read, Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love does not brag, and it is not arrogant. It does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Four. <laughs> Pretty sure that was all number nine there. Love, unlike <laughs> Unlike ceremonies on golf courses, okay. never fails. Paul concludes that chapter by saying, But now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. The wife's role is that of an attitude of reverence in her spirit, a servant's heart, a grateful spirit, and a quiet spirit. The role of the husband is to be that of a priest, to lead his family in worship, a provider to furnish for them the necessities of life, a listener, a protector from both physical and spiritual evils. If the two of you believe this to be the will of God and stand ready to receive each other publicly as a gift from God, with perfections and imperfections alike, join your hands. Good job. It's like they already knew it was coming. Michael, in taking this woman you hold by the right hand to be your lawful and wedded wife before God and the witnesses present, you must promise to love her, to honor and cherish her. In that relation, leaving all others cleave only unto her, and to be to her in all things a true and faithful husband so long as you live, do you? I do. <coughs> Jordan, in taking this man you hold by the hand to be your lawful and wedded husband, before God and the witnesses present, you must promise to love him, to honor and cherish him in that relation, and leaving all things cleave only unto him, and be to him in all things a true and faithful wife, so long as you live, do you? I do. I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. What God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. You may kiss the bride. Okay, y'all. All right, that was the real thing. We're really married now. <laughs> I had my fingers crossed.